Hi, I'm Sarah Crossland, and we are here at JJ's Red Hots, um, which is an appropriate place to be this time of year in the summertime. This is a spot here in Charlotte. There's two different locations right now, one in Dilworth and one in Ballantyne. Um, we're in Ballantyne today. This spot has some great hot dogs. They've got all different kinds of crazy hot dogs. They've also got some fun nachos and other little dishes that we're going to try here today. They've also got a house-made orangeade that is really tasty and some amazing local beers on tap. So we're going to try it all. We're going to head back in the kitchen, kind of see how they create these hot dogs and just have a lot of fun. Right. Well, uh, you know, there's been a, a, a real big trend in fast casual restaurants, uh, the kind of restaurant that we are, which is sort of a higher design, high quality food without having to sit down for an hour and have waitress service. So um, really noticed a growing trend in that, in that segment of the market. So we like that. Uh, we noticed a really big trend uh, with uh, with burgers, and, and I really couldn't find a, a really good hot, fast casual hot dog concept around. Uh, so especially down here in Charlotte. So we figured. Why not give that a shot and elevate the entire experience? Very high quality ingredients, um, and, and people seem to be really enjoying that. You guys have so many fun things that you have going right. on here. You've got your $2 Tuesdays, you've got your Dog of the Week. Right. Um, tell us about some of that, but right. especially the Dog of the right. Week. Well, the Dog of the Week was kind of something we started uh, about a year ago, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we usually try to do a Dog of the Day, and it was just too much to keep up with. And so we figured a weekly cadence would be the right one, give us some time to really develop uh, the flavors of the dog. And we try to match that to different things going on during the year. So we're going to do uh, July 4th dogs starting on Monday. Our dogs of the week start on Mondays. They run through Sunday. And that'll be with mac and cheese and baked beans. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, people are going to get really excited about that. I've been, people have been bugging me about mac and cheese on a hot dog for a while, so we're going to indulge them. So one of the things that makes JJ so much fun are the different kinds of hot dogs they have. They have these kind of crazy combinations. So this one, um, they actually call it the hog tide because it is, um, and that's tide spelled T-H-A-I apostrophe D. So it's got peanut butter, you've got bacon, you've got honey, and then the Thai aspect is it's also got sriracha. So this dog's got a little bit of a kick with its sweetness. That is really tasty. Totally different combination of flavors. You can definitely taste a lot of the peanut butter. And it's definitely got a little bit of the kick with the sriracha. So JJ's isn't all hot dogs. While that is sort of their primary thing, they've also got um, a lot of other fun dishes. These are the Borrachos nachos. So these are named for the borracho beans that they have in here that they're house made. They make them with beer and garlic and spices. They've also got a cheese sauce. Um, they've got some salsa on here. It's all with these house made potato chips. Really fun dish, totally different. Great for having here when you have a beer or something like that or a nice start to your meal with your uh, hot dogs. In addition to their fun hot dogs and great sausages, JJ also has some amazing craft beer here on tap. We're having the Triple C Baby Maker here today, which is a local beer. You can find several other local beers. So come out, enjoy JJ's. Come out on a Tuesday when they've got $2 hot dogs or a Thursday when they've got $3 sausages. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Sarah Crossland with My Fox Carolinas. Cheers.